Welcome to a brand new video of Days Gone. So I ended up stopping in the last, last episode because I went to go talk to Iron Mike, but it said part of the map will be restricted. Right, let's see what the old man's got to say. Uh, so well, I, I figured I might as well save it for a new episode because I don't know how long that would run for. See, advancing the story will temporarily lock you out from the northern regions. So since it's a new episode, I'm going to do that. So let's get into it and see what we got going on. You know a way over the Tielson Pass. He told me once that I I'd... told you nothing. Go on. Oh, I can't on. help you, Deke. Just draw me a goddamn map. After everything you've done. After everything I've... What about what you've done, old man? Huh? Yeah. Sherman's you camp, on. the things that you, you get did. Out you get out of here. You listen to me. What if? You could take it all back, huh? What if you could fix it? The fact that I put Sarah on a chopper, I felt relieved. How fucked up is that? Uh, I was relieved. Mike, that's what I've been living with. And now you're chasing ghosts. You think finding your old lady, if she's alive, you think that's gonna fix it? Make you whole? I don't know, but I gotta try. <sighs> All right. If I do this, what you want, show you the way over the pass. You don't come back. All right, you promised me you don't come back. I gotcha. Holy shit. Loser, I, I... Uh -huh. Huh. Last winter. We were up on Farewell Ridge. We were watching the freaks. Thousands, thousands of them. I mean, too many to count. Yeah, I remember. All I could think was every one of us, man, woman, and child, are now homeless. Bunch of goddamn refugees. Yeah. What belongs to them now? We'll survive. <laughs> yeah, we've been doing that all right. Surviving. Isn't living. <laughs> Something Jack used to say. Doesn't matter when you hit the road where you're heading out to, but you damn well better know where you're coming home to. You know, we never talked about it. While we still wore the colors all this time out in the freak show and shit like this didn't matter anymore. Uh, yeah, but I think. Last two Mongols on Earth, farewell originals. Uh, the biker boys, most badass drifters on the broken road. Damn straight. Yeah, I guess we did become sort of a brand. Uh, we were a lot of things, but we were never a brand. <laughs> <laughs> when we rode out of farewell, without Sarah, without Jack, or anyone, I knew that we were leaving everything behind everything that mattered was gone said this you're a nomad again huh yep i guess i am Come on, Jack. Inside, let's go. If she's out there, you'll find her. Deke, you ready? Yeah, right. Mike, I'm ready. Meet me at the gate. Don't keep me waiting. I don't have my leather anymore. Yeah, sure. Mike, I... Whatever you say. I don't have Bowser anymore. I'm gonna be alone. Can I even deal with that? Hey. Her big Mike is taking you over the pass? Yep. You really think she's still alive? Billions of people are dead, but somehow she made it. Hey, we made it, didn't we? If I give up now, if I don't... If I don't do this... Well, then I'm just gonna end up like, uh... 
like us, right? The guy and Mike, like, boozer? What'd you call us, campers, yeah? You go and you find your woman. You know where to find me. Yeah. And you know what? You know what I think, Deacon? I think that you're you're afraid to be here. You're afraid to be a part of something. We need you here, and that scares the hell out of you. I'm sorry. <sighs> yeah, me too. You ready? Yeah, I want to get the hell out of here. I don't know if this is the end or if this is just a midway point in this game. It feels like the end, but I don't think it is. Come on. There's no way. This way. Okay, I'm following you. I mean, if you could go faster, that would be great. Took Jack out fishing once. Before, you know. Okay. Oh, shit. I got one. Didn't know what the hell to do with it. <laughs> that sounds like Jack. Oh, he ran a pretty tight club. Or you boys raised some hell back in the day. I don't think you murdered anyone. Not in cold blood. It's not murder if they shoot at you first. That's kind of true, to be honest. At that point, it's self-defense. Not that I justify killing a whole group you know of people. How many but tourists we used to get through here come summer. I'm assuming a lot of a people. Thousands. Too many to count. Highway be bumper to bumper with SUVs and campers chock full of sunburned moms, beer chugging dads, and their snot-nosed kids. Goddamn rainbow, floppy hats, Hawaiian shirts, and flippy flops. All summer long they come. A trail of colorful ants from L.A. to farewell to here, nonstop. I'm glad I avoided road trips out here that time of year. I don't think I can deal with that many people. Especially in the place I live. I, yeah, no. Dude, just drive like a normal person. You can go faster. This is the straightaway. Come on, old man. Either pull over or go. Okay, you know, come on. What hell? I don't what? have a choice, Mike. Fair enough. Come on, just follow me. <sighs> yeah, okay. So we're actually doing this. Are we going somewhere I've never been before? I'm assuming so, right? Oh, winter. Why? Really? Ugh. Oh, how is he going so fast? 
Now he goes fast and up. Uh, Jesus. And the worst spot, he goes fast. I mean, come on. What? Holy crap. We're really saying goodbye to everything. This is it. Really? This is it. This is as far as I go. Keep following the trail. It'll take you down the mountain, on into the Diamond Lake Valley. I wish you luck. Hope you're right about your old lady still being alive. She is. Well, maybe so. But you gotta ask yourself, Deke. Is what does it matter if everyone else is dead? These are hard questions he's giving me. I don't like it. This is making me sad. Even though I know you would tell me to. If you're out there, I'll find you. Is someone shooting or something? Mayday! Mayday! Captain Corey! You there? Come in! Mayday! Hello? No one's listening. New people. Dead and try again! What the hell? What's going on? Is that a bear? Please God, no. Take that, you bear! Ah, uh, crap. Oh, this is not a regular bear. Okay. This isn't a regular bear. What? Here you go, you freaking bear. Holy crap. Okay, come here. Over this way. There you go. Did I get him more? Did I? I can't tell. No bear. Look, come over here. Hi. Oh my god. Why? I hate fighting bears, and now this one's a a raging bear. That's what it's called. Okay. This is an infected bear. Oh crap. Wait. Yes. Ah. <laughs> Oh my god, my stamina, really? Come on, you can do it! Let's get him! No! Don't hurt me! Don't hurt me! Leave me alone! Watch out! Watch that thing, man! Really, thank you! Never would have guessed. Catch! Give it to him! Oh, okay. I hate this very much. I don't have any ammo. I should probably grab your thing. Here you go, have a frag grenade. <laughs> nice. Ah, crap. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Okay, so there was a thing over there. Here we go. No, leave me alone. On, leave me alone. Come here. Come on, one more. Yes. Thank you. Another bounty. Holy crap. That was insane. That's a freaking scary bear. Oh, you. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. I don't know what we would have done without oh, you, man. Oh, come on. Hey, Thank okay, you, all right, man. all right, all right. It's dead. It's cool. Man of the hour. Oh, God. I'm Russell. Glenn Russell. This is Private Mullins. Rick. Hey, Rick. Uh, I'm Deacon St. John. Did, did you say private? Yeah. Yes, sir. The Shoots County Militia. You're not from around here. 
You come over the pass? Uh, no, no, no. I've just been uh, drifting. I came over the uh, salt flats east of Silver Lake. <sighs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what the hell are you doing out here, man? How'd you get across the 97? Whoa, 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 whoa. Jesus, man. What? This guy just saved your freaking life. The colonel told us to look out for anybody entering the territory, north or south. <laughs> freaking slow your roll, man. We'll let the captain deal with that, okay? Fine. He just killed a freaking ranger, dude. Come with us. We got a camp just by Diamond Lake. Get you three hots in a cot. Least we can do. Okay, yeah, sounds good. What about Flores? We can't just leave him here. Uh, you stay here. I'll come back with some fuel. No! Listen, stay here. Use his ammo if you gotta. You'll be fine. Okay? Let's go. Following you. Okay, so now there's a militia. Been having some trouble with squatters out here the past few weeks. A patrol picks you up, could be trouble. Okay, got it. Uh -huh. So, uh, the shoots county militia? Look, man, all I know is they feed me. They want me to salute and yes, sir. I salute and say yes, sir. How big's your outfit? The camp out here? We got a hundred, maybe more. Hard to keep track. Back at HQ, a whole lot more than that. Yeah, okay. Uh, huh. any women? Hell, that what you're about? Well, you can forget it. Colonel's got rules about that. Frat, fratern, fratern, fraternizing. Fraternizing. <laughs> yeah, that. Look, you pull Jesus, your weight, dude. follow orders, nobody messes with you. Women same as the men. Don't matter to the Colonel. I'm not... Oh, listen, I, I'm just... I'm looking for some people and a woman that I rode with a year back or so. They would have come over from Silver Lake, and they would have been at one of those Nero refugee camps, I think. Silver Lake? Jesus, man. Silver Lake's been gone a lot longer than that. Yeah, yeah. What did I just it's see? It's too goddamn easy to lose track of time out of here, you know? Anyway, you guys, uh, do you pick anyone up? Survivors, I mean, from, uh, from the refugee camp? Maybe. Like I said, it's a big freaking army, you know? Ask the captain. He came in across the salt flats, I think. He might know. The captain? Yeah, yeah Corey. He commands the Diamond Lake outpost. We're almost there. This is it. It's Did this Russell. burn down or something? Because there's a lot of things missing. It's barren. It's actually kind of freaky. It looks like a ghost town that got burnt down. Report. Captain, sir, we had him. We did. Found his bike still smoking. I bet you lost him, huh? No, sir. I mean, yeah, we lost him. We ran into a rager, sir. Where's Mullins? Flores? Flores is dead, sir. I'll have Mullins with a body. That'll be all, Corporal. Go get some fuel. Head back to Mullins. You know what to do. Yeah. Yes, sir. If it wasn't for this man, we'd all be dead, sir. I sort of promised him some food and a safe place to camp tonight, sir. Corporal? Get the fuck out of here. And you are? Name's Deacon St. John. Name's Corey. Derek Corey. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm sorry. Um, I'm sorry, I'm a little tired. I've been on the road for a long time. Your man Russell said you were recruiting? Are you interested? I've been looking to settle down. Yeah, find a camp. I'm interested. Come on. Okay. So. He has the ring here. that I gave Hard to, to her. Say. Uh, you lose track or the same ring as me. Now. So, uh, where'd you get your gear? Ammo. Well, there's a couple of camps I used to do runs for. Bounty hunting, mostly. Freaks? Amen. Both. I had a reputation for being able to track shit down, you know? Oh, which camps? Where are they? You know, past the Farewell Valley. It doesn't matter. They're gone now. They're overrun. Uh, Russell said you were there when Silver Lake was overrun? <laughs> oh, yeah. 
That was a shit show, I can tell you. Uh, any survivors? A few. Move, move, move! Come on! Obviously, there's one. My dead one that I'm interested in. Here. Take this. Militia script. Camp credits. Payment for helping my men. Use them at any of the commissaries. Okay. You gonna join up? Stick around. We're getting ready to ride out of here soon. Getting ready to ride out where? You said you had some tracking skills. Yeah, some. This isn't the life of a drifter. We're fighting a war out here. You sure you're up for it? Is that the best you got? I can recruit you. But the colonel is the only one who can swear you in. You stick around. Give us a hand. I'll take you to him myself. I'll be here. Good. Jesus. All right, then. Jesus, motherfucker, has my ring. He took it from Sarah. He had to take it so from you Sarah did. because she wouldn't have given it to him. So that means that she's got to be here. I knew it. Okay. So wait, do I need food or anything? Hmm. He doesn't look like militia. Who are we talking about? No strange person. Let's just talk to random strange people. Hey, uh, you don't look very militia to me. No, um, man, name's Wade. Wade Taylor. You can call me Wade. Deacon St. John. <laughs> Holy Listen. shit. Deacon St. John. Is your old man a preacher or something? No. Man, that is a hell of a name. All right, listen. You wait. see this, man? This is some crazy shit. Yeah. Whew. So what, you joining up, becoming an army man? You playing soldier and shit? I don't know, maybe. Listen, mm -hmm. uh, you look like you just came in from out the shit, right? Yeah, man, yesterday. Okay, yesterday. I've, been... I've been waiting to see the colonel, whatever the hell that is. Traveling with some people, we got separated. You see anyone that looked like this around here? Uh, nah, man. Ooh, she is a looker. I'd hit that, you know. <laughs> uh, I gotta go, man. They're... Checking me for lice or some shit. Good luck to you, Deacon St. John. Jesus, what a name. What Jesus, a loser. That dude's fucked up. But just a little. Sarah if she slapped him in the face. How did he Come survive? On, Come on. Where the yeah, hell are we going to go in here? You're Hello? Here. Somewhere. Feeling any better? Maybe in these tents. Hello? Wait, is it her? Maybe in here. That the looks infirmary. a lot like her. I mean, with her background, that's where she would be, right? Yeah, mm, but I don't see her. Here. Go, go, oh, go. crap. You, yes, sir. Yes, yes. Okay, and oh, here? Oh, damn it. She's not here either. Oh, my God. She wouldn't be where I just was. That doesn't make sense. Not to me, anyways. The lady in the barracks just, I mean, the infirmary looked like her. Sarah. Sarah, Hello. you in here? Hello. Shit, I'm not here. Oh, God damn it, she's not here. She's not here. But... Right, yeah, yeah, it couldn't be that easy. Not could it? No. Drawings. St. John, are you on this uh, channel? Why are you not yes. Corporal Russell said you had a radio. Why are you still in my obstacle yeah, course? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm here. My obstacle course? Meet me at the gate. Do you like it that much? Do you want to run it again? On my way. Then be my guest. You got something princess. to say about it. Yes. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, moving. Sorry. Okay, Sorry. wow, Sorry. these. This drill sergeant doesn't know how to chill. Getting ready to ride out. You still coming? Ready when you are. Looks like you put a lot of work into this. Yeah, some. Open it up! And away we Wait, go. Can you ride? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I can ride. Wait, we're you almost... You're going to have to prove it to me. See if you can keep up, St. John. We're almost finished with... Um... I remember. Which is the storyline for his wife. It says 93%. So what the hell happened back there? I mean, it looks like a forest fire, but the stumps are charred. So that means... That means that the timber was cut before it was burned. You got a good eye. We call it the dead zone. We use the timber to build our barricades, then burn the slash. From the outpost, we can see a horde coming long before it reaches us. And what? If, 
You're gonna burn all the buildings, too, so the newts and the swarmers have nowhere to sleep? Yeah, you know your freaks, huh? Like I said, I've been out in the ship for a long time. So that's your plan, huh? The militia, I mean, to burn everything to the ground? We're fighting a war out here, St. John. We'll do whatever it takes to win. A war? That's what it is, isn't it? A war? I guess. You've seen the hordes? The only thing that's gonna stop them is an army. Our army. It's gonna take way more than an army. We have a plan. If the Colonel lets you join, we'll fill you in. So, Silver Lake, you asked about survivors. Did you look for ah. someone? No. No, not really. I mean, look, there were some folks that I rode with once, and I thought maybe they ended up there. Uh, I thought maybe you were after someone. For a bounty, I mean. Yeah, no. no. I tracked men over long distances before, but not this far. No bounty's worth that. I mean, I wouldn't have thought so either. Hello. Did you burn the body? Or do whatever you do to the bodies? Hey, Corporal. The captain's here. It's done, sir. Make sure you make a marker. Yes, sir. All right. You two head back to Diamond Lake. Grab, uh, Taylor was his name? Yes, sir. Yeah. Take him to the Colonel. I'll be there in 1800. Sir? Military time, Corporal. You're supposed to know this by now. Oh, yes, sir. Get the fuck out of here. Yes, sir. You find something? Uh, how long is, uh, Vasquez? How long has Vasquez been with you guys? A couple of weeks, maybe more. <laughs> well, he's been busy. What the hell? You guys been having trouble with supply runs, marauder attacks? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna go on foot from here. On foot? Why? <laughs> because Vasquez came out here for a reason. I can't track him from the bike. God. Well, okay. Where do we start? Then? It's been snowing, so uh, there won't be any boot prints. Come on. And look inside the cabin. Okay, okay, I'm following you. Let's go. Okay, open. What we got? A bunch of stuff that I'm just gonna steal. Don't mind me. Oh, I got a dog toy. What? Why? Um, search. There you go. Looks like drugs. You uh, <clears throat> you said he stole rations, ammo. Oh, rations. Yes. Oh, uh. This is an MRE. It's half eaten, so looks like your men rode up on him when he wasn't expecting it. His bike's still out front, which means that he went out the back. Okay. Wait, over here. What would you find? I found my bear I killed. And the rust. So it was cut recently. Yeah, come on, this way. Okay, well, you said we can't track him in the snow, which is obvious, so what are we doing? Hey, hold on for a second. Look. Hey, what's this? Over here. Oh, boot tracks. Uh, yeah, we're in luck. That means they were just here. Yeah, this way. Wait, 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 hold up. You find something? Yeah. Shell Shotgun case. shells. Recently fired. He, uh, well, he stopped to shoot at something. Come on, down here. And what would it be? Oh, is he dead? Hold up, hold up. Go on, get out of here. What are you doing? That ever work for you? Yelling at a wolf? Eh, depends. You know what? I'm gonna just beat you with a stick. How's that sound, huh? You wanna go? You wanted to fight. Okay. Ah! No! <laughs> uh, uh. You know what? This is ridiculous. Just, just die. Thank you. Where's the other one? There you go. That's the last of them. Holy crap! Why? Yeah, it looks like it. Nice okay, I'm just gonna steal their skin real quick because I'm sure you guys have a thing going on here, right? Oh, I'm sorry, wolf meat. I didn't even cash those in, did I? Well, oh well. Now I can cash in okay, I wanna here. Take a look at this thing. At this new place. Looks like the MREs weren't enough for your man. Clean gunshot right through the head. Yeah, the wolves must have heard the shot. Decided they wanted it more than Vasquez. Yeah, the rest of the pack came at us from back that way, from the east. 
You think they chased off Vasquez, leaving one Probably. to guard the carcass? That's my guess. Come on, let's see if you're right. Well, come on, let me run. You guys got a lot of wolves out here. Ones that aren't infected, I mean. Yeah, we get reports almost every day. When I was a kid growing up, there were no wolves in Oregon. I mean, a few coyotes, but no wolves. They've been driven to extinction by ranchers and farmers, timber companies. Well, it looks like they're making a big comeback. Unfortunately. Where am I searching? I want to run and it won't let me. Hold up, hold up, hold up. This is annoying. What is it? It's a it's backpack. Wolf. It's one of ours. Looks like they almost got to him. And he shrugged off the pack to get away. No, no, no. To buy time. He landed on his ass. Tried to scramble away, but then the wolf lunged. Vasquez dropped him. Two huh. shots. You can tell all that. Yeah. I mean, I'm good at what I do. Did he jump off? Oh, no. Oh, there's just somewhere over here. Wait, get down. A swarm. Near oh. a wave site. I don't think this one is marked on our map. They're scattered all over the region. Yeah, maybe that explains why uh, Vasquez came through here. Let's go around. Exactly what I was thinking. Okay, quietly. Is it John? This way. Yeah, right there with you. I'm, you're supposed to be following say, me. I know where I'm tired going. Running and hiding from these sons of bitches. You ever take on a swarm? Yeah, I've done it before. Maybe. Moving. Well, look, if you're going to join the militia, you must stay focused on the mission. We're not out here to fight freaks. Being in the shit, killing oh. freaks, it kind of goes hand in hand, doesn't it? It kind of. You got a bite. Okay, um, what's now the distance what? between us and the graves? The cold weather's going to bring out even more of them. I think they can smell a corpse from about a mile out. Part of our slash and burn strategy is to find these grave sites, dig them up, and burn them along with everything else. Yeah, well, good luck with that. I've seen hundreds of them. It's just in this part of the state alone. And we got to start somewhere. Jesus. All right, where now? Keep heading east. Oh, boot checks. Hey, there's a road ahead. Hold up a second. Wait, there's regular checks. What do you think? Is anyone else tracking them? Not that I know of. Huh. Well, then he's either dead, or he's got a lot of friends. You see how his tracks have been overridden by bikes. A lot of bikes. Hmm. Okay. Come on. Let's see where they're heading. You said cold weather brings out the freaks? Yeah, yeah. Cold, snow, rain, hell, even clouds. Well, like I said before, you know oh. your freaks. When we get to command, there's some people who want to talk to you. People. The colonel will fill you in if he lets you join. Hey, wait. Hear that? Come on, keep up. Yeah, it's coming from the logging camp over there. Is that it's a map? fire. Yeah. Wow, that means it's also on Vasquez's map. Come on. If Vasquez is there. What would your strategy be? Well, he's not hide alone. and see what's happening. The tracks. What's that militia penalty for going a wall? Hanging by the neck until dead. Why? Oh no! It means Vasquez isn't coming without a fight. Um. Okay. Great. This is gonna be so much fun. I'm gonna have to kill a lot of people, aren't I? I don't think I have enough ammo. Do you see your man? Yeah. That's him. Oh, looks like you guys need to start doing background checks on your recruits. He seems to be right at home. Well, let's wait here. I'll radio for backup. Get your goddamn hands off me! Oh, oh this one's a fighter, boys! What do you think? Oh, we'll see about that. Oh, hell no. What? Uh, I just got this problem with assholes who hurt unarmed women. I'm giving you an order. Order? You see me wearing a red armband? You don't give me orders yet. You do whatever the hell you want. Okay. I haven't even started and I'm already going rogue. Hmm. So can I kill them one by one? Or no. Oh, this is a mess. Okay. Okay, let's just go over here and see about these guys. You stay behind me. You give me cover if you have to. 
These guys are just creeping along over here. What are these guys doing? It, where, what is he doing? Okay, well, no one said to do that. Ooh. Oh, hello, strange person. Do, do you not see that man running next to you? A man just ran by you, and you're gonna do nothing about it? Oh. Oh no, he's dead, so am I. Sucks for you. I'm just gonna steal all your stuff. Does that sound fine? I kind of want a crossbow. Just saying, I know I have one, and I should have taken it, but whatever. I don't know why I keep getting stealing random things like alarm clocks and dog toys. Oh, did someone notice me? Go around it. Ah! <laughs> no. You shouldn't have saw me. Oh no, you missed me. Are you the militia guy that's over here? Oh my god, where did you come from? Do you have a hammer? Ow. Come here. Give me your freaking pickaxe. Whatever the heck that is. He's not moving. Oh no. Ow, what the hell? Come here. Slice ya. Oh. Get this poor person. Oh, okay. Where? How many people are here? Just wondering. I'm asking for a friend. How is there a laser coming through here? St. John, man coming. Are you joking? Thanks Why? God. How? What? <laughs> There's a sniper. Seriously, though. Oh, I got you How do I go around? Oh, wait, can I open this? Oh my god. What is going on in here, though? I want to get in there. Dude, Dude did you set yourself on fire? Come here. He must have set himself on fire. Come on, lady, just die. Okay, I'm just gonna see... Oh, yes, thank you. That was actually amazing. Anyone in here? Hello? Oh, there's a gas can. I don't need that. Throw that, thank you. Hello, strange people, where are you? Oh, there's a bunch of you. I'm shooting at me! Just, I'll shoot your faces off. Actually, you know what? Oh no, you're reloading! You all suck. You shouldn't be doing this to poor old... Not old ladies. Poor ladies. Hello? Where did you go? Ow. You don't kick me. Excuse me. This is... Stab out. Do it, come on. Hurry! You're gonna hurt me. What do you think? You're walking away from this? I don't think you're walking away from this. Nice try, asshole. How are you not dying yet? Thank you. Was that too much to ask for? Stab, stab, stab. Come on. I'm gonna be here forever. There we go. Yeah, I think so. Nice work. I mean, there's plenty of gas Come around on, this place. What the heck? Vasquez, he isn't my man. Not anymore. Whew, okay. 
Oh, like Wait here. Stand guard in case we missed anyone. Well, how do I? Oh, there we, there, there we go. Excuse me, I would like to come inside now. Oh. Hey, whoa, 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 easy, easy. I'm not gonna. I'm just here to help. I don't need your goddamn help. Okay. I'm just gonna move over here. What the heck was that? Hold on, hold on now. We're not with them. You think I give a damn who you are? Okay, okay. She isn't happy. Okay. What we got going on here? Are we just going back to our bikes that? now? I don't just know. Your typical damsel in distress. Vasquez, done. Way done. Captain Corey, come in. Uh, this is Corey. That was his We're here, trap show. Heading up the road to the main gate. Hold your position there. We're coming. We're what walking on over. They've been uh, annihilated. <laughs> Hold your position. Curry out. Come on. Well, I would walk faster, but you know, whatever. It won't let me. We brought up your bikes, Captain. Thought we'd save you the walk back. That'll be all, Corporal. So how'd I do? Did I pass? Pass? Oh, you've been watching me all day. I figured this was what? Some kind of test. <laughs> no. Nothing quite as formal as all that. As you can see, our pool of recruits isn't what it used to be. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, you passed. Oh, you ready to meet the colonel? <laughs> yeah, sure. Why the hell not? <laughs> okay, now I'm meeting the colonel. Great. So St. John, Moving up. where did you serve before the ship went down? Do you know what an MRE looks like? You know how to recon an enemy position. You know cover in advance, tactical maneuvers. So, where did you serve? Marines? Army? I try not to talk about it, you know? I mean, first year out here, it seemed like anyone who used to wear a uniform had a target on their back. I, uh, I was in the Army. 10th Mountain. I did a full tour in Afghanistan. So how about you? Anyone who's ex-military has a <laughs> a certain bearing. None of your soldiers have it, but you do. Like I said, you got a good eye. I was in the Air Force 10 years. Part of SAC. There ain't nice. no missile okay. silos in Oregon. I was on vacation, believe it or not. I was lucky. Before SATCOM went down, I got hourly reports from across the country. I think it was bad out here. Everything east of the Mississippi was overrun within two days. Holy crap, really? So, are you familiar with this area? Yeah, I grew up in a town north from here. Uh, it's called Farewell, you know it? No. Uh, it sounds like a fitting place to be living at the end of the world. <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. So, maybe you have been here before. Yeah, I've been here uh, a few summers back. Me and my old lady, or my wife, we stopped by here on our honeymoon. You got a pick? Uh, of your wife, I mean. <laughs> her name was Carrie. We were married 12 years when... Anyway, it was a long time ago. Hmm. You know, I, I think this might mean keep out. Huh? Oh, no, no, that doesn't apply to us. Why, because we can't read? Because we don't obey the law. <sighs> Speak for yourself. After you. Mm. <sighs> All right. Uh, you know, making me a co-conspirator, not very chivalrous. Chivalrous what? <laughs> no, it means, um... It, 
Right. I never learn. I apparently don't I'm know sorry chivalry. About that. Oh my god, you should have seen the look on your face. Oh, I bet it was funny. Yeah, if I'd owned a cell phone, I'd have taken a picture. Well, for just so what are we time, doing? I'm glad that you don't. Oh, come on. Don't this is our honeymoon? Hey, I didn't say anything. You brought it up. You just did. I'm assuming that's what this is, right? We were just talking about it. Are you going to talk or am I gonna just going to keep talking to myself? Like I usually so, do. Where are we going? Just follow the trail. You'll see that it's not that far. Ah, this is interesting. It's pretty, but not very interesting. Talk, damn it. What would my mom say if she knew I was out on a midnight stroll in the middle of nowhere with an outlaw biker? Well, I don't know. She'd say, honey, you better wear your sweater. Very funny. Yeah, she wouldn't say anything, you know? You weren't supposed to tell them about us, remember? Oh, come on, Deacon. I said that a long time ago. You know I didn't mean that. Hey, look, I'm not judging. I'm just... I mean, I, just, I haven't told my old man. That's because your father's dead. Well, yeah, yeah I mean, there's that. <laughs> there could be a very big thing. What... What are we doing? The question is, have you told anyone in the MC that you're dating a nice girl from Seattle and not some bimbo from whatever strip club you guys live in. Oh, well, okay, wait a second. No, we don't wow. live in a strip club. I mean, we have a lifetime membership there. That's true, but we don't live there. And second, uh, I did tell them. Yeah, matter of fact, I did. Wait, you, you did? <laughs> yeah. Oh, come on, don't sound so surprised. They find your PhDs to be very sexy. Do they? I don't feel like that's a thing, but okay. So you know this is way past my bedtime, right? Oh, I Seriously. know. Seriously, what are you, an old lady? Oh, stop! I mean, I really do have to get up early tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, how's that going? I mean, you, uh, well, you never want to talk about it, so. It's nothing. It's just. Ugh, it's just this project, I and mean, we've got these execs flying in from New York to audit our progress, and the suits at our facility are installing a new lab without even showing me the spec, and... Ooh, well, I thought you didn't oh, want Jesus. to talk about it. Sorry, it's just... You know what, like I said, it's nothing. Anyway, thank you for dragging me away from all that. Yeah. No problem. You're welcome. I'm still not sure what we're doing out here, but... Okay. I like the fireflies. Oh, wait, is this a pot farm? Is this what you wanted to show me? Say what? Well, these are marijuana plants and uh, farm. irrigation system. So this here, this is a pot farm. Oh, hey, yeah, look at that pot oh, farm. Would you look at that? Oopsies. You dragged me out in the middle of the night to the middle of nowhere to show me the MC's illegal growing operation. Uh, yeah. I mean, you got me. Is that a problem? <laughs> I was hoping that you could give us some tips, you know, cultivation. Put all those PhDs to work on something actually useful. Jesus, DQ, what? <laughs> okay, I get it. This is not actually what you wanted to show me, right? No, of course it's not. Come on, keep following the trail. We're almost there. <laughs> I was going to say, that's kind of disappointing, to be honest. What are we doing? Are, yeah, is she, you think are I we going to show her a view? I would learn, but I never learned. Nope. Learn what? That he's a bad boy? Duh. Should definitely know that by now. Oh my god. god look at that moonlight. It is it's so beautiful. Keep going. That's the moon? Uh, we're almost there. I thought yeah, it was the sun. It would be like if just everywhere all at once the lights went out and everyone could just see the world just like this. What you mean? Like all dark and shadowy and depressing? I mean the <laughs> moonlight, the wildflowers and the fireflies. I see you were kidding again. Okay, you don't take anything seriously. Oh, I take everything seriously. Oh, yeah, right. I do. You do not. Like when I suggested moving some of my stuff over to your place, you pretended that I was joking. Uh oh, -uh, no, that's not true. I pretended I didn't hear you. There's a big difference. You should have seen the look on your face. And you know, I do have a cell phone and I took a picture. You want me to show you? 
My God, you're a scientist. Can we be rational about this? Okay. First of all, all I said is that we should think about moving in together. You know, because we'd get to spend more time together and, you know, take the next step. What's irrational about that? I have a toothbrush at your place. Oh, I'm so sorry. You know what? You're right. That is a huge commitment. Well, I mean, do you know how much a good toothbrush costs? Okay, see, there like you two go bucks? again. Every time I try to talk about our future, you turn it into a joke. Okay, all right. Was this we do it? need to talk about it, and we will talk about it, but just hold on for a second, because I want to... <laughs> I want to show you something. Okay. Why'd you turn around like that, you weirdo? This is why I brought you out here. It's amazing. <sighs> wow, how beautiful. Was it worth it? God, yes. <laughs> hey, there's something I've been meaning to ask you. Yeah? <gasps> Deacon? Will you... Will I? Will you, uh... <laughs> <laughs> so that a yes? On two conditions. Name them. Okay, well, the first one is that we don't have one of those biker weddings where you say that you're going to ride me as much as your bike. Done. I couldn't promise that anyway. Oh, stop. Okay, the second one... The second one is that you never leave me. Done. God, did you just break your biker ring off my finger? Ah, you know what? <laughs> I think I probably Ooh. did. <sighs> <laughs> Look at it. It's so cute with its little fangs just like clenching onto the chain. You know, nothing says true love like dog skulls. Dog skulls. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what does it say there? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you knew Latin. Come on. Oh, it's Morier Invictus. <laughs> it means death before defeat. Wow, I like that. Well, you're gonna get me like a real ring, though, right? But not that this one's yeah, not absolutely, great. Absolutely, because I, I just you know, thought that's my ring. You right, know, it's your that. ring. Right. Something more simple, without fangs. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm sorry. No, that's all right. It's the lab. I gotta get it. Okay. <laughs> Hello? Yeah. No, no, no. It's fine. I'll be right there. Okay, bye. Is everything okay? I, I don't know. They need me back there. What? I gotta go. Uh, th this minute? Like, th at this time of night? I'm sorry. I have to go, but I promise I'll make it up to you. Okay. But come on. My wife's name was, uh, Beth. No, I don't have a pick. Let's go. Why am I lying to him? I don't understand. Just because he has the ring doesn't mean he did anything. Am I wrong? I mean, that's what I'm just... Thinking, I don't. Oh, what do I know? I don't know. I know nothing. What the hell is this thing? It is, sorry, I'm just grabbing weird things. Away we go. Not unusual, you know. I'm sorry. What's that? Do not have any photos of your wife, and family. Yeah, why do you say that? Back in the day, everyone used smartphones. That's where we kept all our photos. When phones went away, when the cloud went away. Photos went with him. True. Yeah, I guess I hadn't thought about that. My wife, Carrie. Her father was a photographer. Old school. Dark room, chemicals, all that. Too stubborn Sweet. to embrace the digital age, I think. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have any photos either. Yeah, well, I hated him. Cell phones, I mean. It seemed like everyone walked around with their noses buried in the damn things. I never owned one. Interesting. I mean, it's very true. I just don't understand. I worked people. as a mechanic. I uh, I had my own shop. Probably had the last landline in Farewell. Okay, what the heck? This is awesome. Sweet. Near the 
<sighs> you guys are taking this shit seriously. The Colonel believes with enough motivation and discipline, we can achieve anything. Come on, hurry your ass up. I'm going as fast as I can. Just move it! Is that your idea of motivation? The Colonel has set up a work camp on the south side of the island for those unfit to serve. Some of them require extra encouragement. I'll bet. Come on, follow me. Yes, sir. Stand up there with the others. Good luck, St. John. You got your ass too, huh? Whatever. Hey, man. It's good to see you again. St. John, right? Son of the preacher man? Taylor, what's this son of a preacher man shit you keep saying? I'm just kidding with you, man. Hey, do you have any luck? What? The, the woman you were looking for, you and your peeps are riding with. No. I need all your jewelry, watches, shit like that. Come on, in the bag. Sure, man, whatever you say. The hell you say? Recruits aren't allowed personal effects. Besides, shit's just gonna get stolen. Come on. Cough it up. Oh, yeah, shit's gonna get stolen. Goddamn bullshit. Tin hut! <laughs> At ease. Visitors are not welcome here. You are here because you were invited, recruited, by my trusted officers. When you answer me, start by giving me your name, last name first. Getting by, same as everybody. Name. Atkins, Crystal, sir. How many men have you killed? Before or after? Answer the question. Fuck you. We have all done things that we're not proud of. What? To survive, to stay alive. The Almighty understands this. Right. The Almighty yeah. forgives this. Amen. Amen. <laughs> but here, on this woman's face, <laughs> are the footprints of Satan. <laughs> Prison tattoos. Proof of what you once were and no doubt still are. It's people like her that are responsible for bringing the wrath of the Almighty down upon us yeah. all. <laughs> Take her to the work camp. What? Ah. Fuck you! Yeah. Fuck you! Come oh. on, gorgeous! Oh. Let's Goddamn go. redneck assholes! Get off of me! <laughs> What about you? Uh, Taylor, uh, wait. And, um, no, sir. I, uh, never been to jail. Never killed anyone, nothing like that. You've been in the shit for a long time. Yeah, I mean, I, I know I know how to shoot stuff. My, my dad took me hunting when I was a kid at a camp near Klamath Falls. It got... How about you, son? You know how to use a gun? St. John, Deacon. Yeah, I know how to use a gun. You're a drifter. Hold out your right arm. Tenth Mountain, Iraq, Afghanistan. Honorable service, and don't lie to me. I'll know. Served one tour, served with honor. Hated every goddamn minute of it. <laughs> Thou shalt not lie. Good man. Hold up your right hand. Do you solemnly swear to support and defend the new constitution of these United States? Against all enemies, natural and unnatural, to bear witness and support to the same, and to obey all orders without question. So, do you swear? I swear. Dismissed! Walk with me, son. 
How's Captain going, Curry sir? doesn't bring me many recruits these days. He must think highly of your combat skills. Uh, I've okay. been in the shit a long I mean, time. You know your way around the freaks? Yes. Yes, sir. I uh, I know as much Obviously. as anyone, sir. Dude, get good, the hell out good. of the way. Excuse here, you. We'll have the doc take a look at you. I mean, there's nothing wrong with me other than my burnt arm, but... Hey, whatever you say. Pulse is strong. Good heart rate. Got a pretty nasty burn there. How'd that happen? Uh, had a run in with a wood stove. Wood stove, huh? Who dressed this? I did. No está mal. Not bad at all. Thank you. Keep it dressed or you're gonna lose that arm. You hear me, amigo? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I hear you. I want you to check back with me in a few days. Got it. Well, Doc? Ah, he's fit to serve. Lara bien. You doing runs out on the ship? <laughs> Sorry, Doc. Uh, ya tiene novia. Uh, he's spoken for. Let me guess. The Wizard Island Witch. Vaya con Dios. Good luck, amigo. Let's go, son. What is he talking about? A witch? I normally don't tolerate insubordination, referring to an officer as a witch. But I make exceptions for some of my more eccentric officers. Yes, sir. I make exceptions no. because every man and woman still living has a role to play. Do you believe in God? St. John? Uh, Never gave it much thought, sir. Well, it's high time that you did. He has a plan for us, all of us. And my part is this. Okay, good for you. Not everyone believes in that, but all right, whatever you say. Sir? This place, I had a vision. Oh, nothing so grand as those described in the Old Testament. No flaming chariots or burning bushes. I oh, but those are so cool. Before God's plague had rained down upon the world, and knew that this was the place. What is this? Crater Lake, uh, Wizard Island. I call it the Ark. Are you familiar with the story of Noah's Ark? Yes. Yeah, Duh. I mean, yes, sir. I mean, everyone's, everyone's heard of it. Indeed. You'd be surprised how few have read the Bible or the Book of Revelations. You mean Genesis, Noah's story? I mean, um, that so it's, it's the Book of Genesis, sir. Yes, of course. What is all this, though? If anything, this is a giant tomb for all them the creatures to eat us. Okay, son, let's get you squared away. Whatever you say. Now, we don't have much in the way of uniforms. I'm sorry to say, but. Uh, I think that, uh, oh, here, try this on. <laughs> Seems to fit. I'll take that. Well, if you don't mind, this is a gift from an old friend. An old friend? <laughs> not many of those left anymore, are there? No, there are not. Okay, soldier, but I don't want to see you wearing it. You're one of us now. And normally we start new recruits in the rank of private. But since Captain Curry has vouched for your experience in the field, we are starting you out at the rank of corporal. Thank Congratulations, you. son. Thank you, sir. Yeah, let's get you some work. Well, okay then. I'm already moving up in the world. All right. Now, what was I saying? Uh, something by Noah's Ark, I don't know. You were telling me about the Ark, sir. Yes, the Ark. What you see here is only a small part of it. Behind us is a whole network of caves and vents that lead from here up to the Cone's Peak. When our work okay. is complete, they will be filled with thousands of seeds, plants, computer files, and books. The world may die. But our achievements in medicine, science, and technology will not die with it. No, sir. Oh, to burn everything down seems but stupid. The island is more than just an arc, Corporal. It is a stronghold, a fortress. Here well, obviously, North look Bay, at it. We are stockpiling enough munitions to take the fight to the freaks. We have rifles, grenades, heavy machine guns, and RPGs. We have the equipment to make ammunition, every type. Every caliber. Nice. 
It's always good to hear, especially since I don't really have many weapons. This is our mechanical engineering area. If uh -huh. you like repaired, see the officer on duty. Okay. This is actually very big. And as you can Huge. see here, courtesy of the old National Guard, we are building a fleet of trucks and other vehicles. Once the yes. hordes are cleared from the highways, we will begin to rebuild the roads and bridges. Okay, Your slash and burn good. strategy may stop newts and swarmers, but it won't clear the highway. It won't, it won't stop the hordes, sir. We no. are aware, Corporal. The hordes. The hordes are a different beast entirely, aren't they? But yes. Yes, they are. Plan, sir. Blow them up. Benjamin Franklin once said, by failing to prepare, you are preparing to fail. We are not going to fail. Okay. I mean, I don't, I didn't think you were, but okay. The heart of the army lives here at the gate, ready to move on my command. These tents house hundreds of women and men, just like yourself, who have pledged and sworn their lives to the fight. Why did we just but walk I have over something there? else in mind for you. An assignment that requires more than just the ability to survive in the shit or use a gun. Are you up for that, would that be? Uh, yes, sir. Wherever you need me. You asked how we were going to defeat the Horde? Let me show you. Get You're gonna way. burn them or blow them up? Or what? Those are the top two things I can think of. Now, shit! You okay, Lieutenant? Oh, hey, Colonel. Sorry about that. Too much acetone in that batch. Lieutenant Weaver is our chemical engineer. He's working on new ways to, to blow shit up, defeat the enemy. Sorry, but yeah. Uh, name's Weaver. James. Saint John, Deacon. All this militia shit's just for show, right, Colonel? Corporal Saint John is new to Corey's unit. If you need anything from out in the shit, he's your man. Oh, shit, yeah. yeah. There's a couple of things I need. What are you working on? Oh, just the new gelling agent combining naphthenic and palmitic acid. Mm, you working on napalm? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this dude knows his shit. Uh, just a lucky guess. Uh... <clears throat> Sorry to interrupt. Oh, any time. Oh, Colonel. I'm getting real close, Colonel. Very close. That's good. That's really good. Where are you going next, Colonel? Wizard Island Witch? That'll be all, Lieutenant. It's the second <clears> time <throat> I've heard that. Wizard Island Witch? Again, let me apologize for my more eccentric officers. No need, sir. Well, what the hell is that? We have one final stop. As much as I believe in Lieutenant Weaver's work, what you're about to see could be, I think, our path to victory. How oh, so? Here. Looks like plants. Obviously, it's food or something. All right, what is this? Ma'am, I got everything on the requisition form. Does this look like fabric softener? No, ma'am. Okay, well, why don't you read it? <sighs> Active ingredients. Chlor chlor chloroform. And, uh, eight turp turpin turp Get out. Shit. Get out! Matt, I can't do this if I have to do my own supply runs. I got it covered. Lieutenant Whitaker, this is Corporal St. John. He's a new member of Corey's unit. He's got some experience out in the shit. Read this. Read this. I mean, you can read, can't you? Active ingredients, chloroform, aterpenol, benzo alcohol, halothic acid. Good enough. When can he start? Oh, I'll leave you to it. Carry on, Lieutenant. Leave us. Stand at attention. Sarah, I don't. No. 
know, you're, you're, you're dead. You're, you're dead. You're, you're supposed to be dead. Hey, hey, hey. You're dead. It's okay. You're dead. I'm right here. Wait, wait a, wait a second. I, I don't understand. I couldn't I, I find you. you had died, and I. Uh, no, we were overrun, and, I, and we had to go south. We, and Nero, they yeah, said Nero, that no one no, made I it out. Ryan and Farewell I was overrun. They said that everybody the was mountain. dead. And I didn't think that. I never thought I would see you again. Hey, listen, now we can ride out of here. We'll pick a direction. We won't look back. Come Please, on. No, no, Deacon. I can't. Are they, are they forcing you to stay here? No, you don't understand. We're fighting a war. Don't you see? This is a war that we can win. I didn't come here to fight a war. I can be helpful. I can make a difference, but I... I can't go with you. I have to stay here. Don't you get it? You, you can stay here with me. Help me. <sighs> Look, afterwards, whatever you say, we, we, we can go wherever you want. <clears throat> Colonel's looking for you. Whatever you say, ma'am. Wait, wait a second. Your requisition form. Thank you, soldier. Okay, I found Sarah. Hey, crap. Health cocktail? What the hell is that? I got a custom accent too. Alright. Well. On that note, I am going to end the episode. Are we going to we're actually... John Lieutenant Weaver. Oh, Come back. Stop talking. St. John to HQ. Are we going to Wizard Island? Mr. Weaver, what can I do for you, Corporal? Uh, your requisition form says you need mercury. Any idea where I can get it? Yeah, sure. I should have written that shit down for you. It comes from, uh... Cinnabar. Oh, wait, I'm on out of mine north of Diamond Lake. Head there, radio me when you arrive. Yes, sir. Hey, between you and me, if the colonel isn't around, stop with all the yes, sir, no, sir bullshit, all right? Makes me feel old. Get back to work. Okay. Well, anyways, I'm going to end the episode here. If you guys enjoyed it, please let me know down in the comments, and also be sure to scratch that like button. But as always, guys, I hope you enjoyed.